Welcome back to our geothermal exploration series. Following our comprehensive surface exploration in phase one, we now move to phase two, confirming the heat. This crucial stage involves direct subsurface investigation to validate the promising areas identified earlier. Here we employ targeted drilling and advanced temperature measurement techniques. The primary method in phase two is thermal gradient drilling. This involves drilling relatively shallow, small diameter boreholes, often referred to as slim holes, to depths typically ranging from a few hundred to over a thousand meters. Unlike the deep production wells drilled later, these are designed specifically to obtain accurate subsurface temperature data with minimal cost and environmental impact. Careful drilling protocols are absolutely essential to prevent drilling fluids from significantly altering the formation temperature. We meticulously monitor drilling parameters and allow sufficient time for temperature equilibrium after drilling ceases. The drill cuttings collected at regular intervals also provide valuable lithological information, helping to correlate temperature anomalies with geological formations. Understanding the thermal conductivity of these formations is critical for accurate heat flow estimations. In temperature logging, once a borehole reaches the target depth, temperature logging commences. Highly sensitive temperature probes, often incorporating thermistors or resistance temperature detectors, RTDs, are lowered into the well. These tools record continuous temperature measurements as they are lowered and sometimes raised, providing a detailed temperature profile with depth. Multiple temperature logs are often acquired over time to ensure data reliability and to observe any temperature recovery after drilling disturbance. Analyzing the temperature gradient, the rate of temperature increase with depth is paramount. A significant higher than average geothermal gradient strongly suggests a potential heat source at depth. We also look for any temperature inversions or anomalies that might indicate fluid flow or changes in thermal conductivity. The data obtained from thermal gradient drilling and temperature logging are then integrated with the geophysical and geochemical data from phase one. This comprehensive analysis allows us to refine our understanding of the subsurface thermal regime and to confidently identify locations with commercially viable geothermal resources. The successful com completion of phase two provides the necessary evidence to move on to phase three which will focus on resource assessment after the drilling of larger appraisal wells. Join us in the next video to learn more about that stage. Thank you.